Hello friends, welcome to my 90s on YouTube channel. In the past, I created Samsung Galaxy A05s mobile top 10 tips and tricks video. Lot of friends watched that video. So, this video is A05s mobile another top 10 tips and tricks video. If you are not using A05s mobile, but if you are using Samsung Galaxy mobile, I think this video is very helpful to you. If you are a new user on my YouTube channel, please press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification after publishing my future videos. Let's learn how to pull down notification bar using display. We can sap our notification bar using our display middle area. Normally we can sap the notification bar using our display top area like this, but we can sap it using our mobile display middle area like this. Let's learn how to enable this feature. Go to mobile settings, scroll down and go to home screen option. In here, you can enable this step down for notification panel option. After you can step your notification bar using your display middle area. Let's learn how to do multitasking. We can run two applications in same time. Let's learn how to do this. Now I open two applications. I open gallery and play store. After press your mobile recent key. After select the applications you want to multitask. Now I select gallery. Click on this app top area ball icon. After click on open in split screen view option. Now you can select your second applications using your apps. Now I select play store. In this method, I can use two applications in one screen. I think this is very good feature to use your mobile easily. You can do two works on same time. Let's learn how to use applications as pop-up view. Now I open some applications. After click on your mobile recent key. In here, you can select your application you want to use as pop-up view. Now I select play store, click on this app ball icon on top area and here click on this open in pop-up view option. Now you can use this application as pop-up view. You can drag and move it like this. I think this is very amazing feature. In this method you can use applications as pop-up view. Let's learn how to enable assistant menu icon. If we enable this assistant menu icon, we can use some mobile very easily. Let's learn how to enable this option. Go to mobile settings. Scroll down and go to accessibility option. Click on interaction and dexterity option. In here, you can enable assistant menu icon. Now you can do lot of things using this assistant menu icon. You can go to back, open recent applications, go to home, take screenshots, volume adjustments. You can do lot of things using this assistant menu icon. In this method, you can enable this assistant menu icon and you can use the mobile very easily. Let's learn how to capture long screenshot on this. Samsung Galaxy A05s mobile. We don't want to download third party applications for take long screenshot on this A05s mobile. It come with default settings on this mobile. Normally we can take a screenshot by pressing volume down key and power key on same time. After we can capture a screenshot. Now in here I cannot take long screenshot. So I open my mobile settings. In here I can capture a long screenshot. Again I press volume down key and power key on same time. Immediately you want to press this arrow icon on this screenshot toolbar. Now you can see our screenshot is continually capturing. Ok let's see our captured screenshot. This is our long screenshot. In this method you can capture long screenshot on your mobile very easily. Let's learn how to hide recent key, home key and back key and we can get full screen display. Let's learn how to do this. Go to mobile settings. 
scroll down and go to display option in here go to navigation bar option in here we can see two methods button methods and sub gestures method now we already enable buttons method now we want to enable this sub gestures mode now i enable it after we cannot see our mobile home key recent key and back key we can see a full screen display like this you can again go to this sub gestures mode more options this sub gestures has two options you can click on this more options button after you can see sub from bottom sub from side from bottom two options have now i already enable sub from side and bottom option you can see a preview how to use these modes in this sub from side and bottom option if i want to go to my home screen i can sub my home screen bottom like this if i want to open recent applications i can sub my home screen bottom to up like this if i want to go to back i can sub it like this in this method you can get your mobile full screen display let's learn how to enable one handed mode if we enable this one handed mode we can use the mobile easily using one hand let's learn how to enable this feature go to your mobile settings scroll down and go to advanced features option in here you can enable this one handed mode option one handed mode have two options gesture method and button method in here you can view a preview if you like to use gesture method we can enable it like this we want to sub our home button bottom like this after we can enable one handed mode in gesture method i personally like to use this button method it is very easy to enable one handed mode we want to double tap our home screen after we can easily enable this one handed mode this is a very amazing feature if you like to use this one hand mode you can try it let's learn how to use dual messenger apps if you want to use two whatsapp accounts two facebook accounts two viber accounts or any other two messenger applications you can create it using this mobile let's learn how to enable this go to mobile settings scroll down and go to advanced features option in here click on dual messenger option now in here you can see dual messenger supported available applications now this mobile available apps is facebook only if i want to use two facebook accounts i can enable it like this if you want to use another messenger applications you can enable it like this now this is my first facebook application this is second facebook application in this method you can enable dual messenger apps let's learn how to enable dark mode if you like to use your mobile in dark mode you can enable it now i am using light mode because i personally like this light mode if you want to enable dark mode let's learn how to enable it we can schedule to enable it automatically go to mobile settings scroll down and go to display option in here you can see light mode then dark mode now i already enable light mode if you want to enable dark mode you can click on this dark mode option now my mobile is going to enable dark mode you can schedule to enable this dark mode automatically click on this dark mode settings after enable this turn on as schedule in here you can set a custom time to enable dark mode start and end time you can select in here in this method you can enable dark mode if you like let's learn how to remove animations and speed up your mobile normally when we open applications we can see a animation preview we can remove this animation preview and speed up our mobile let's learn how to do this go to mobile settings scroll down and go to advanced features option after click on remove animations option in here you can enable this remove animations option now i come to my home screen you can see no animation preview the applications are opening very fastly no any animation preview 
in this method you can remove your mobile applications animations and you can speed up your mobile okay in this video i have talked about samsung galaxy s05 s mobile top 10 tips and tricks if you are using s05 s mobile or samsung galaxy a series mobile i think this video is very helpful to you if you like this video please add your comments don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button on this video don't forget to share this video with your friends let's meet on our next video have a nice day goodbye